Okay, so I picked up from Mission Keto Confections. This is the turtle cheesecake. This is locally produced here on Long Island in Amityville. I'm going to try this. I actually bought one of the strawberry ones for my bestie, so I'll see how she likes it, but I haven't had cheesecake of any kind in like a long time. Oh, nothing should be this good. Oh, this ain't right. <sighs> I'm gonna drop a link. God, this is fucking good. Drop links, do follow this thing. Whether you're keto or not, this good. So I was never a fan of ham or turkey, but uh, Chris over here told me this is his mom's turkey meatballs cooked in coconut oil. They smell amazing, they're cold, and this is the true test of any food, of how good it is. Is it good cold? Yeah, it's good cold. It's fucking good cold, man. He's eating turkey meatballs from uh, Love and Supplies mom. Anthony? Oh. Cheers to Love and Supplies mom. All right, so this is day 12 of my new keto life. I made myself some dinner tonight. Stopped by Trader Joe's, I got some wild caught salmon. 7% fat, so I'm really happy with that. Put some of the uh, keto friendly mayo. String beans cooked in uh, bacon and coconut grease. And I used avocado oil on these Brussels sprouts with some uh, pepper and other things. And on salmon, I put, so I, I mix it up. I just went crazy. I just put rosemary, garlic, and some red peppercorns. My parents, when I was a kid, went through this like salmon kick and I kind of made it like my first repulsive and now just blase. So we'll see how this is. All right, first of all, I'm a good cook. Second of all, can we just say that everything cooked in, in uh, coconut oil is better? I'm gonna enjoy this. All right, it is the evening of Friday, June 15th. This is the end of day 14 officially. I have made it two full weeks on the ketogenic diet and I'm feeling great. I'm a little tired right now because I've had a very, very long day. Today was weird because I seem to get affected by weather when the weather shifts. Like I could just get this like feeling of like drowsiness in my eyes. The last couple of years, I would just get so drained and it'd be so hard to move. But today I was feeling that like heaviness, that drowsiness, that pressure in my head. I knew the weather was gonna change. I just, I still kept going. Like if I didn't say anything, nobody would have known. Like I had so much ability to function and to even think. In my words, everything's coming out clearer lately. And that could be a combination between the ketogenics and the neurofeedback. Anyway, I had good food, of course. I had four clients this morning. And then I ended up having a, basically a meeting with um, my boss now. Then afterwards, I drove around for a little bit on the North Shore trying to find a spot to shoot a vlog. I'm settled on the Mackamaw Preserve and I hiked all throughout this place trying to find the right spot. Finally found it and I got the vlog done. And then I ended up taking the wrong trail back. I took the hard trail back. Now keep in mind, my last meal was around 12.30. I'm all over the place going on around 5.30 or so, almost six hours since I had eaten. I get back to the car, get home, made myself two eggs, some broccoli and one scoop of the keto shake. But I'll tell you, I almost didn't eat at all because I felt so good. I felt so hot. I, everything was just functioning. I wasn't hungry. I knew I didn't want to just try to coast all night like that. Plus I still really like eating, but I definitely see like the benefits of like going so long without food. And this is not something I could have done as a vegan. I was tied to the kitchen. Like I had to have food rations, you know, emergency like cliff bars and stuff all over the place. Because after two, three hours I was getting famished. I don't know when I'm really gonna start intermittent fasting, but I'm a lot more open to it now. I just gotta get over my love of eating, which I don't think is ever gonna happen. But right now, I'm feeling really good. Like I said, I'm a little tired, but I've earned it. I've been up since five, and it's just after 10. That's it for today. I'll catch you guys up another time. Peace. So, uh, Chris. Hey, Chris. What are we doing here today? Test your blood, baby. Testing my ketones. To see how much meat and butter you've been eating. <laughs> Believe me, I've been eating plenty of meat and butter, coconut yeah, oil yeah. all over the place. Yeah, avocados, all right. Keep me a finger. Just make sure you push out for the blood, all right? Okay. Give me blood. This is the mission. The moment of truth. Three, two, one.
Oh shit. Wow. <laughs> it's called a ringer. That's impressive, dude. You're yeah. getting deeper and deeper. Sure? Down the keto rabbit hole. Yeah, dude, snap that. Yeah.